Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. So today, today's video, I don't even really know where to start. We have just come back from the estate agent. We have signed our offer on a new apartment, which is so exciting. Future Sonia dropping in in the edit here. It wasn't as straightforward as that. We basically went to the agent, told him what our budget was and asked if he would go to the sellers with that. He said it was too low and that they wouldn't accept it. They accepted another offer, which fortunately for us fell through. It came back on the market and as soon as it did, I got in touch with the agent, put our cheeky offer back on the table and he presented it to his clients. They accepted and we went ahead with everything. Now we need to get our place on the market ASAP so that everything can be nice and smooth in the transition from this place to our new place which is amazing and of course it's all happening at the same time as the 20 week scan and yeah life just it's like that isn't it <laughs> everything happens at once so we've signed the offer that's gone through now we need to get our place on the market so it is monday right now the photographer will probably be here on wednesday and our place will be up on the market on Thursday and then on the following Monday we will have our first viewings and the place is looking very lived in and it is my job to get it looking spot on for the photographer so I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now and be very realistic it is a mess um, and then show you what I'm gonna do to bring it up to scratch and get it ready for the photographer. This might actually be the first time you really see our entire apartment. I need to do a proper tour. I will try and do that before we move because things might happen very quickly here. Hopefully they do because that will be nice and smooth and it will mean that we get into our new place in perfect time for nesting, which would be the aim of the game. Okay, so when you come in the front door, this is what our room, our entrance looks like. It is quite messy, it needs to, we need to get rid of a lot of coats, well not get rid of, just store, and shoes and all of, this is a pile of hats, it's ridiculous, but it works for us anyway, but obviously for viewing, this is way too much. The first door you come to is our bedroom, so through here, I haven't even made the bed this morning, but this is what it looks like right now. My side is relatively tidy, Ingemar's side however is just crazy. So that needs to be decluttered, organized. So look, look at that lovely minimalist kind of vibe. That's what we're aiming for. <laughs> Next door into Mia's room. And I mean, it's not too bad at the moment. There are things that need to be tidied away, but that's, that's fine. It won't take too long to tidy this up. Um, and her shelves and everything look fine. I'll take some of that down and hang things away. I started pulling out baby things and like breastfeeding stuff and all that kind of thing. That needs to be sorted. This should be over her bed, but we never moved that when we moved the bed. This chair we will take out of the room, but this is where we sit and read to her through the day and through the night, not through the night for bedtime routine. And you can tell I'm getting out of breath already. Only 20 weeks and I'm already out of breath. And then opposite is the bathroom. And this is what it looks like right now. So it's not too bad once I've picked up the towels, the swimming stuff, and put all of that away. Now, this is my office space, but actually it's mostly taken over by Ingmar. Um, yeah, so we need to move his gym bag, put his clothes away, probably put this stuff in storage, and then just have a big declutter, tidy up of all of that area. This is my storage cupboard and it is jam-packed full. This is the cupboard where all the prints are stored. So this, this is again jam-packed full. I don't know if this is graphics card or memory or whatever. These need to be put away. There's just toys everywhere. Take the lovely gallery wall down for viewing. Then is the kitchen. We will hopefully just kind of just clear the surfaces in here obviously dishes and everything need to be sorted um and just yeah put all of these things away somewhere i'm gonna tidy up down here so that these look a little bit neater and uh, this cupboard is always an interesting one maybe shouldn't have all that on display 
I'm not sure, but I can tidy up little corners like this. It doesn't need to be immaculate, like nothing here. It needs to still look lived in and homely because that helps people imagine how they would live in the space as well. So I think, yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of a tidy up. This is kind of our drying area that we pull out here. We've still got breakfast out from this morning. Declutter the shelf, put the nappy box away and the exercise ball. But this can be a really nice looking area. Open the blinds and everything. Take away like, I don't know, some of Mia's toys. It's fine to have some on show and obviously we'll still be living here. Um, so just tidy up that space in general and her handprint, move that out of the way. It's not too bad. Tidy up some of that. Realistically, I think I can get all this done today. So the photographer, photographer could come tomorrow, which is great. <laughs> we can just get the ball rolling. And then if we get ahead of the game, we can maybe have it up for viewing on Sunday. But I think it, he, our agent said it's better to start on Monday because people will look on Saturday and Sunday on the website. So I'm really out of breath. <laughs> So we'll just go with his advice because he's the one that knows. He's the one that does this all the time. So there we go. I will uh, now put the camera down and speed up me running around like a headless chicken trying to pick this place up. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm hot and flustered. So this is Mia's room. Okay, so we're gonna obviously move this chair. So that's the first thing. It takes up quite a lot of space, but I've sorted out the floor. So this looks a bit better. We have something at the ba like the side of her bed because sometimes she falls out of bed still. So it's better to have something soft there. Has her bed here and then we'll move this, her little sofa and her books and her mirror. And then I put all of her toys up here so they're out the way. This side looks a lot cleaner and tidier. I took all of the paintings down. I kind of faffed with the curtains because I know my mum, if she's watching this, she would be saying, sort the curtains out. And yeah, that's basically it. So this is what her room looks like. From that, this is what's going down into storage. Okay, that's the bathroom basically done. I don't know, I think I'll just leave the shower as it is. Probably take these out, take the wash bin out, take me a step out. Maybe take the uh, rug as well and her potty and just kind of leave it like that, sort out some of this. Take some of these away, just leave the soap. That is the bathroom basically done. I'll give the shower a good wash down and that should be that sorted. Onto the kitchen. I'm gonna get the dishwasher on first of all because that will help that area look nicer. Scrub down the board and the pan and then figure out where I'm gonna hide all of this stuff. Okay, I am failing at recording everything. The camera shut off while I was in the kitchen and I was just in the mindset that I just kept going. So I will show you kind of where it's at and tell you what I've done, but it's like I spot the difference at this stage. So it does look a lot better. And I've just taken this plant out the window and realized how huge it is. I'm cleaning the fruit bowl, the very sad amount of fruit that is there. I've cleaned all the surfaces, cleaned in the corners and things, taken this plant away that was here, doing a bit more dishes. This area I played with numerous times, but 
actually I think I'm just going to leave it like that because realistically we do live here and we're still going to be living here so it needs to look lived in. Looking pretty much done. Once the dishwasher is done I will put everything away in cupboards but I need to still do up there. I took Mia's artwork from here just so it's a bit more clean, clear and minimalist, easier for other people to imagine living in this space. This still needs to be done and this is where I'm starting to tackle right now. I attacked the plants so that we have lots more light, optimal light coming in here because we have amazing light coming in the space even though that makes it look really dark. But this tree I have tied up in this way so because it worked for that corner. I'm going to untie it, see how wild it is and then try and do it again so it can get put properly away in the corner. It needs to be attacked so that the place looks good and so it hides all of that mess behind the barbecue. I think I've run out of steam for the day. Wow, that is bright. We have an amazing amount of light because I've taken the tree and put it here. I'm gonna to have to go to the garden center and get a bigger pot and a cane for it because it definitely needs some love. It's outgrown what is in. And then that's one job ticked off, but it's looking good. The only problem is <laughs> it's kind of a half job right now. And if Mia comes home to this, it'll just get worse. So for one day, 50% of the house to be done, that's fine. That's fine. We're on target for the photographer on Wednesday. It's repotted, much happier there. And I think the plants are all looking good. I've taken, it's like, it is like a massive game to spot the difference. I've taken away the blanket um, kind of rug thing that was on the floor. Mia's toys. I'm going to move the footstool out of the way so that... There's more room, but this is what it looks like. The sitting room, dining room, all of that's kind of organized. This looks fine, I think. I'm gonna take that blanket off so that it's just the white sofa. And yeah, I think the sitting room is now done. And of course, I hardly filmed anything <laughs> because I've just been at it, just working, working, working. I look, oh, I feel bleh, and and now have a hallway full of things that need to go down. Luckily we have a big storage down in the basement so it's all going to go down there. I've got a friend coming, I need to go and pick her up in like two minutes time and then go and get Mia from nursery and then go and get Ingmar from work and then we're all just going to lift things and carry them down to the basement. All of this needs to be stored. The problem is we only really have this evening because tomorrow morning as life <laughs> throws What's, what are the sayings? There's a million sayings. Waiting for a bus and five come along at once. Whatever it is. Yeah, we have our 20 week scan tomorrow morning at nine o'clock and then at one o'clock the photographer is coming. <laughs> and at three o'clock Mia's supposed to have an eye appointment but we've just had to reschedule because I can't manage all of these things. If you can make your life slightly easier <laughs> then do that. So that's what I've chosen to do. Um, so yeah, we need to get everything finished tonight. And then photographer will come tomorrow and then it'll be on the market on Thursday, the next day. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. 